driveway over there, just right over by the museum. Um, you have to look at the label to make sure you're getting the right one for your winter boot size. Um, you can get them at EMS, you can get them online. I recommend getting them at EMS when they do their Black Friday sale because they will do a discount. These are one of those items that never really goes on sale until it's like the next season. So, what's that? Or you can get them at club days or discounts, because so don't go in looking, oh, I'll get these when they're on sale, because they're hardly ever on sale. They're like a kitchen, kitchen aid mixer. Um, retail is 65. Yeah. They are, but they're worth it. They are definitely worth it. I've used these on the winter trips that we've had, and I have not fallen, and everybody else has. So, to me, they're worth it. The other thing I brought, which I use when skiing or winter day hiking is for your Nalgene bottle. So you put hot water in your Nalgene so that it doesn't freeze while you're out in the one degree temperatures in Lake Placid. Then you put it inside here. And then it doesn't go. You're sure it doesn't freeze. And there's a really good, very strong Velcro. And you can put that on your belt there. If anybody wants to take a look at the micro spider. And if anyone wants to check out my skis later, feel free. Rich? So I just brought my running shoes. Uh, but anyway, yeah, good segue here. Uh, I, I like to run, I like to trail run. And one of the problems I've had with, with all these things that you pull on your boots is when you get money, you step out of them. So, I don't know if you can see them, but there's a bunch of screws stuck at the bottom of the soles of this. They're, you know, hex head, sheet metal screws, three eighths of an inch. It cost me about three dollars to do both shoes. They're fantastic on ice. I run on ice. I run on whatever. Just like wearing cleats. So it's a lot cheaper. Uh, I was concerned when I first got them that these had been come out, but I have yet to replace one, and these are four years old. So it's How like they get rust in there. Pardon? How did you get them in? Uh, I just used a, uh, a driver, a screwdriver. So they just wanted the rubber soles. So. Uh, I would be careful about putting them on boots, but I do like put them on is I put them on the top of the tread so that the odds of they're going through will be less. And the first time I ran them, I was going to feeling very careful for any sharp things on top of my feet. I have never had a problem. So I'll leave them up here if you want to take a look at them. I think it took me about 10 minutes. First coming, submit the uh, name tag with that. Um, I, my number one item for all seasons, I had custom orthotics. So I went to the doctor and she had a confused look when I said I want to be able to walk 15 miles a day. But uh, they like take a mold of your foot and it's a hard plastic orthotic that is specific, specifically molded to the shape of your foot. Um, so you know, I don't have any more foot pain. I use them all season, winter, summer. but. Uh, um, I don't know my insurance company. <laughs> They're pretty expensive, I would imagine, because um, they take like an X-ray of your foot to get like your bone shape, and then they do this machine that like scans your bare feet and it makes like a reverse mold, and then they send away. It took like a long to come back, so I imagine they're expensive. Uh, yeah, I actually don't buy shoes anymore unless they fit in them. So, uh, what do you mean? I'm sorry. Yeah, so you know you buy like an orthotic at the at EMS or whatever and it molds your foot. This actually is a hard plastic and it contours to my foot. If I put it up against my foot, it 
exact shape of my foot. So um, it, it's got like true arch support and everything like that. It's not something that molds to you, it's something that's made for you. Nope. Um, if, if this doesn't fit the shoe, I don't buy it. So I actually have a little bit of a hard time buying shoes now, but it's so worth it to wear these. Because um, I used to have a lot of foot pain when I'd bike all day, um, and it's gone. I could walk, you know, 10, 15, 17 miles, I think was my last big one with David. and. I didn't have any foot problems, I don't have anything, so it made like the world a difference. Thank you. All right, Miranda's next. Uh, I have a couple things, so I'm going to put them down first. So the first thing, this is, um, I use this hat all the time when I winter hike. It's uh, my favorite hat, it's kind of sentimental, but it's a uh, fleece line and everything. Second. These are um, Manzella Windstopper gloves. I use them when I hike in the high peaks. They um, cut the wind, but they're also they're not too heavy or too. Um, they're pretty breathable as well. So when I hike uphill, I use these are my first go-to pair. Uh, they run about twenty to thirty dollars. Uh, oftentimes, I hike in the winter up in the high peaks, so when you're going uphill, even though the temperature might be 10 degrees, you wear a lot less clothing than you would think you would need in 10 degrees because you're making your own heat. So this is actually um, a summer uh, wind and uh, slightly water-resistant running jacket that I use. I wear over um, my base layer, so I usually I'll wear a wool mid-weight base layer, and then I'll put that on when I go up hill, as long as it's not too um, too cold. And um, it's breathable. There's different fabrics on the back and is on the front for um, breathability, so you're less sweaty when you're out in the cold. When you get your clothing wet from your sweat, it's dangerous. You can get hypothermic. So this is actually, I use this in the summer, too. Unfortunately, the only drawback is it doesn't have a hood. But um, it is water resistant. And lastly, um, these are gear ties. You can pick them up at Eastern Mountain Sports or Home Depot or any of the home stores. And they're just like rubber coated wires. And I use these on the outside of my pack um, to attach my snowshoes. And um, if, um, if I'm not wearing my snowshoes and I'm wearing my micro spikes, the snowshoes will be on there. And then if I need to switch, I can keep my micro spikes on the outside of my pack on the gear ties switch in between. And then also they come in handy in the summer too if I've got flip flops or uh, camp shoes that I want outside on the pack for backpacking. Okay, and uh, let's see what Dave brought. Well, I have a competing water bottle set up here. Put the mic down for me while I get out. Can you all hear me? Two 
the water bottle boots. I have an athleter boot that I put a bottle outside my pack. And this one I fill it with water, put it in the boot, put it inside my pack, and nothing freezes. Yes. Yeah. 
comes in two sizes, a layer and a layer and a half. I can have a good approach and I can see the theory of the Does anybody else have uh, any uh, winter gear items that uh, they either love or any items that they hate that they want to let people know about? <laughs> Thank you.